Thank you for coming. The purpose of today is to provide an update in respect to the murder of Crystal Marshall. Um, as you know, on Friday the 20th of October 2023, MFS and police attended a house at 26 Barracuda Crescent at Aldinga. Uh, once that fire was extinguished, sadly, they found the body of 38-year-old Crystal Marshall uh, in one of the bedrooms. That bedroom and the interior of the house was extensively damaged by fire and smoke. From what we understand, we believe that Crystal was most likely killed on the 20th, sorry, Crystal was most, most likely killed on the 19th, and the house set on fire the following day. A 48-year-old man is currently in custody and facing charges relating to murder and arson, and he was arrested on the 21st of October last year, and the investigation has grown in its intensity since that time. That's culminated in the arrest of a 29-year-old female at Parra Hills this morning, and that person has been charged with murder, arson, and defiling human remains, which simply means setting them on fire. The allegation will be um, that together, those two people and those two people alone are responsible for the death of Crystal. The woman's been charged at the City Watch House and refused bail and will most likely appear in court either late this afternoon or first thing in the morning. Due to the fact that they're both facing charges, I won't be able to go into the evidence today, but there are some other aspects of the investigation which are important to get across to the community. In particular, there was a person who made an online report to Crime Stoppers. At 5.25 p.m. on Sunday the 22nd of October, 2023, that person conveyed specific knowledge in respect to the murder and who might be responsible for that murder. And as I say, that was an online report. It's very, very important to the investigators that that person uh, contacts Crime Stoppers rings into Crime Stoppers and asks to be connected with a major crime investigator working on the Crystal Marshall case. We had about 15 or 16 Crime Stopper reports, but that's the only report that detailed um, the specific and intimate knowledge of this crime that um, we want to know more about. There's also two vehicles that have emerged of interest and their relevance to the case is not clear at this stage but they were in the area on the 19th and the 20th. They were captured on CCTV, but the image is not good enough for us to get um, registration details from those vehicles. Uh, one we've been able, able to identify it as a blue Holden Astra, and I'll show you an image of that after. Um, the driver stopped opposite 26 Barracuda, and a person appeared to emerge from those premises and walk behind some bushes uh, to a pole um, and couldn't be clearly seen, so I haven't got any good CCTV that I can show you. But that person talked to the driver of that Astra for a few moments and then left. We really want to identify who the driver of that Astra was, so if people have seen that vehicle visiting the area, know who it belongs to, or alternatively, if that driver is watching, we encourage that person to ring Crime Stoppers and ask to talk to our detectives. The following day at 3.22, there was also a white delivery van, um, which stopped opposite 28 Barracuda, and that van stopped at about the time smoke was emerging from the victim's home. The driver got out of the car and appeared to watch the goings on for a little while before getting in and driving away. That person was an adult male, wearing an orange turban, had full facial hair, a beard, a green high vis vest and dark trousers. Again, that person may have seen something that's important to us and we encourage that person to contact us. All three of those people are important to the investigation, um, especially the person who had that intimate knowledge and we encourage those people to make contact um, today, contact us immediately, ask to speak to our detectives, you can remain confidential um, if you want to, but that would significantly help the investigation. I'm happy to take some questions. Has the ex-partner been arrested in relation to this matter? I won't um, say anything about the identity of the matter, that'll um, be something that will come back in court. 